What's cooking guys? You wanna create a cool spin transition effect like this? Well, let's do it. All right, so let's get started. So I'm gonna right click in my project window and I'm gonna do new uh, adjustment layer. So I hit okay. I'm going to drag that adjustment layer on top of my two clips. Now I wanna go to the middle of my two clips by hitting the down arrow key. And then I'm gonna go six frames both directions. So I'm gonna hit the shift key and the left arrow key for five frames and I'll do one more for six. And I'm gonna drag my adjustment layer down and then hit the down arrow key and do the same thing for the other side, right arrow key, one more, that's six. And then I'm gonna duplicate this adjustment layer by holding alt and just pulling up. So now we have two adjustment layers we're gonna be doing our transition on. We're gonna first do our bottom adjustment layer. So I'm gonna go into my effects panel, I'm gonna go into editing and then go into my effects tab. And now the first effect we're gonna to add to our bottom adjustment layer is replicate. And then drag that onto our bottom adjustment layer. And now here we have these kind of four boxes. We wanna change that so there's actually more. So we're gonna go into our effects controls and here's our replicate. We're gonna type in three, hit enter. And now we have all these boxes. We're gonna go back into our effects tab, get rid of this, and we're gonna type in mirror and then we're going to grab mirror. Now we're gonna put that on our bottom adjustment layer and then go back into our effects controls and here we have mirror. But we're actually gonna need four of these mirrors because we're going to pretty much get rid of all these straight lines across vertically and horizontally. So it kind of looks like one image. So I'm gonna click on the mirror, hit command C to copy and I'm gonna just hit command V three times. So now I have four mirrors and we're gonna start by affecting the first mirror. We're gonna change the reflection angle to 90 and you kind of see the image already moved and then we're going to adjust a reflection center by grabbing this slider right here and pulling right and we're going to pull this all the way down until we no longer see these two lines and we're just going to keep pulling it down until it's completely off the screen and we can actually click into this area and we can hit the up and down arrow key to fine tune see now i have no more line in the middle by just hitting the up and down arrow key, it kind of fine tunes it by one key so you can get it really precise. And now look, I have no line going across right here. And this is exactly what we're going to do for all the mirrors. We're going to erase all these lines so it kind of has like this weird image to it. So now let's move on to our second mirror and then we're going to adjust this reflection center to negative 90. And now we're gonna pull left and we're gonna pull all the way up and like I said, we can click on this and fine tune up arrow key until that line disappears. And there we go. Now we adjusted both our horizontal lines. Now we have to do our vertical lines. So now let's go into our third mirror. We're going to adjust this one by 180. But now we are not gonna to be touching this axis. We're gonna be touching the other axis. And then we're gonna pull this left until it comes back onto the screen. And you're gonna to have to pull quite a bit. We're gonna pull it all the way until this line right here goes off the screen. So we're gonna keep pulling it, pull it a little more. I'm actually gonna fine tune again. So I'm gonna hit this box, hit the down arrow key, a bunch of times, a little too much, a couple more. And there we go. Now we have that one vertical line gone and now let's do our last vertical line on our fourth mirror. So we're gonna go into a reflection angle and we're going to type 360. And now we're going to adjust this reflection center left again, but a lot less this time, so that we kind of pull this image on. And so both those images kind of touch and that line disappears again. And I'm gonna fine tune by hitting the up arrow key and down arrow key. Perfect, there we go. So now that we're done with this, we want to move on to our top adjustment layer where we're actually doing the spin. So we're gonna go into our effects right now and we're gonna erase this and we're going to type in transform. And then we're going to grab transform and put it on our top adjustment layer. Go back into our effects controls. So now the first thing we wanna adjust in our transform effect is our scale. And we wanna scale that up to 300%. Why 300 is because we want to adjust this so we no longer see any of these trippy images. We want to bring it back to our original image. And then when we rotate, all this stuff that we're kind of pulling back to 300% now is going to act in for that black border when we rotate the image. So let's make this 300%. And then here we have our original image again. So now what we want to do is we want to go to the end of our top adjustment layer. To do that, I'm gonna make sure my layer's selected over here. I'm gonna hit the up arrow key. Now I'm at the front of my adjustment layer. 
And now I want to hit the toggle animation on my rotation right here. And now I want to go to the end of my adjustment layer by hitting the down arrow key. Make sure the adjustment layer stays selected. And now you can change the rotation to whatever you want. Either if you want it to spin left and go negative 360 or go right to 360. For my two clips, it's actually spinning clockwise. So I'm going to want to change my rotation to 360 degrees. If you're going counterclockwise, you're going to want to go negative 360. There we go. I mean, it doesn't look perfect yet, but we're going to fine tune it to really kind of make it fit. I'm going to right click on my first keyframe, do easy out, and then click on my last keyframe, do easy in. The last thing we want to do is add a little blur to it. To do that, we want to uncheck the use composition shutter angle and then adjust our shutter angle to however much blur we want. 360 is the most amount of blur, so I'm going to use 360 in this case, but just however you want your blur to look, adjust it that way. And here's our final product. Now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my top adjustment layer and I'm going to click on transform, I'm going to right click and do save preset. And this is clockwise spin because my computer had a rough time rendering and doing both of these transitions. So I'm going to save the preset so I don't have to do this every time. And I'm going to go to my bottom adjustment layer, which you will need for this transition. And I'm going to make sure I select replicate, hit command, and then hit mirror. Make sure I select all those layers and then right click again and save preset. And I'm going to write mirror and replicate. So I have that for this transition and any other transition in the future. So if you like this spin transition effect, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you can be kept up with a lot of my other content like this. And as always, if you think I should have done something differently or you want me to do a different type of video or more transitions, let me know down in the comments. Other than that, that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.